going on? This is Chris. I'm here with Jose from Another Black Day. What's going on, man? Doing well, doing well by yourself. Good, good. Um, so we're here for your big show in Orlando, Florida. First show of 2009. Tell us a little bit about, about today and your guys' journey on your way over here. And uh, well, we're mm -hmm. in Orlando playing at the Plaza Theater. I uh, always love playing in Orlando. We kind of consider Orlando home because, you know, we don't really play much in Fort Lauderdale. So, uh, you know, when we were down here, we try to play, you know, here in Orlando. So we uh, at least the first show of the year, we're looking to really kick it off with a good start. Cool, man. And uh, you guys are on Beeler Brothers, which is the same label as uh, our friends from Non Point. Yes. Um, how'd you guys get hooked up with, with that label and tell us that story a little bit? Uh, I mean, I've been a Non Point fan for a while, so uh, we actually recorded a, a demo at Beeler Brothers uh, a few years ago when Non Point was there rehearsing. and uh, So we got to meet some of the guys, and um, some of us were speaking with Rob, the drummer, and uh, he's a very nice guy. And, uh, Eventually we kind of stayed in contact. He liked our music and uh, I guess one day he just presented it to the Beeler Brothers and uh, you know, next thing you know we're on the same label and we're touring the country and selling albums and uh, you know, music on the radio. So cool. The rest hopefully is history. Yeah, well, t tell us about the, about the album that you guys have out right now. Uh, well, it's our self-titled uh, debut album. It's called Another Black Day. Uh, it pretty much encompasses about five years of writing. We just took the best that we had from five years of you know, being a band and just put it on this album. Uh, a couple of stuff was redone. Uh, uh, added a new song, Another Black Day, the title song. Um, and so far it's doing pretty well. It has, uh, the label seems to think it has a couple singles in it. So uh, you know, two of them already have, have uh, you know, gone out the door and done pretty well on the radio. Uh, you know, one was top 20, one was top 40, which for a brand new band is kind of unheard of. So. It's doing well, and um, I really can't wait to record a new album because mm -hmm. this one is, I said, it's a brand new album, but it's, for us, it's very old. Right. When, when did it come out? It came out in May. Okay. May 20th, 2008. Okay. Yes. Uh, so it's fairly new, less than a year old, but like I said, for us, it's like six years old. <laughs> um, but, you know, we keep asking the label, like, when we're going to record a new album, and they're saying, oh, you know, you still got more singles on this album. Which is, I mean, it's a good thing. It is good. Thing. I never, I never would imagine that you know I have an album with multiple singles. You know, a band would kill to have one single. Right. I mean, you're lucky if you have one good yeah, single. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, one radio single on the album, and you know we've been blessed enough to have two, hopefully three or four on this album, which, like I said, is very, very unheard. So, uh, you know, we're just looking on, you know, supporting this album and touring on it, and hopefully getting more singles and. Growing as a band. Yeah. So the album's been out for a few months. So what's on the plans for 2009? More tours? Do you have any ideas for your touring with? Uh, 2009, hopefully we'll be all touring. Uh, like I said, we don't think we'll be recording another album. We we'll hope we do, but uh, for the most part, we'll be all touring and you know jumping on any opportunities that you know present themselves to us. Uh, but immediate future, just touring. Because if you're not touring, you're you know you're not doing anything. Yeah. Hopefully we'll see you guys at uh, Rock for Hunger Fest this year in October. Yep. Um, and then also talking about Rock for Hunger, as I was telling you earlier, um, Rock for Hunger kind of uses music as a driving force to bring the community together and to help people in need, uh, the homeless, the less fortunate children in local neighborhoods. What do you feel music can do to make a difference for people in those kinds of situations and any other social issues? Well, I, I think musicians are privileged to have a, a voice that many people hear where it's you know interviews or their music um, and being you know that the music business is so much red tape usually musicians don't make much money so I'm sure a lot of us can relate to uh, being down and out so uh, mm -hmm. I think it's important that you know if, if we're really passionate about that to sing about that and um, you know write music about that and not forget where we came from and hopefully you know when we're in a better position you know, we, we you know we uh, return the favor and maybe help out some people that are less fortunate. Uh, I mean, I think that's just what anybody can do. That that you know has come come up from you know doing not very well and uh, is not doing well. Mm -hmm. Even if you're doing okay, I mean, I think you should always try to help every, every little bit makes a difference. Yeah, because if you know we all do it, even the little amount of time that we donate, you know, or you know, dedicate to the cause, if everybody does it. You can really make a big difference. It's a totally different world, everybody. A little bit. That is true. Yeah. Awesome. Well, um, tell uh, people where they can find your music. Tell people where they can find you guys. Uh, well, so. you can find our music in Best Buys. Uh, I just found out they're in Hot Topics. Um, nice. Fyes uh, on 
online, of course, Amazon and whatnot, um, or you can get it from our website or the Beeler Brother website, BeelerBros.com. Our website, website is anotherblackday.net, mm -hmm. uh, but we also have a MySpace page. Uh, you just search Another Black Day and we should be the only ones that come up. Um, that's basically where you can find us. Uh, we do answer all the messages that we get. Uh, can't answer all of them because you know I always feel bad because I try to. You guys are rock stars. Not really. I mean, <laughs> we don't consider ourselves rock stars at all. Really. I mean, we we wish we were rock stars, but you know, like I said, told you earlier, we're definitely not on MTV Cribs, and you know, we're a, we're a working band, so it's we're a very humble stage of our career. Um, but yeah, I mean, contact us online, and you know, usually it's me. Uh, I try to reply to everybody. Sometimes I can't, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, we try to be as uh, you know upfront and personal with our fans, and you know, try to grow that fan base because you know, it, uh, you can change somebody's life and be like, yeah, you know, I also have to hang out with a rock, a rock star, and you know, you know, they don't know all I do is sit at home and play video games all day when I'm not <laughs> touring, you know. But uh, if it make if it can make somebody's day, then I'm a rock star. You exactly. Know, but, there you go. You know, I'll play the game if it makes. Where we look at it. Yeah. Do well, you have anything else to say for the people in Orlando or anybody, anybody that's watching the video all over the world? All over the world, wow, that's a pretty big audience. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I gotta plug my band, so if, you know, if, uh, like I say, you wanna check us out, it's blackday.net or myspace.com slash ablackday. Um, you know, I think um, tying into Rock for Hunger, our music is very passionate. It touches on issues that <clears throat> a lot of people that are, you know, not doing very well can, can relate to and uh, hopefully it will inspire somebody to you know pick themselves up from their bootstraps and uh, change their lives so uh, you know, we don't write music just to put out music we you know it's a very passionate uh, you know outlet for us so uh, you know regardless if you don't like heavy metal or rock whatever you want to call it you just listen to our words and it uh, and according to people on MySpace and the people we talk to it can you know it can definitely change your lives cool man. We've, We've had people say that oh, they were, I mean, this is kind of weird. They say they were, they were ready to commit suicide, but they heard one of our songs and it changed their lives. And awesome. now it was like weird. I'm like, well, how do I respond to that on MySpace? <laughs> yeah. You know, do I say thank you or, you know, rock on? But, you know, it uh, seems to have an impact. So, you know. Well, support's my favorite quote uh, from Bono. Music can change the world because music can change people. That is true. Mm -hmm. Very true. Awesome. Well, keep representing us proud in 2009. And uh, people call your local radio stations and request which two songs? Right uh, well, the first single, which I think now is a recurrent, but it can always be requested, is Wicked Soul. Uh, the second single, which is the current single, is uh, Another Black Day. And uh, we hope to have a new single soon, but I really can't mention which one it is because I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah. Right? But you can always call any radio station and request Another Black Day, and they should know who we are. Awesome. Well, thanks for that interview, and wish you guys all the best of luck in 2009.